Folks, so as many of you are already aware, this coming Saturday is Earth Day. I wanted to take you through a few ways, actually, that you might model an exploration of chat GPT in order to produce some ethical dilemmas that might be great to explore this week or in other conversations where you are exploring the climate crisis and issues of sustainability. So I wanna let you know right from the start that as I am going through some of these prompts in this video's description box, you'll be able to find the free guide that has all of the prompts that I used in case you actually do want to go through this step-by-step. I would actually caution you to go hyper contextual and to be asking students for the concepts that they are really interested in exploring, asking them for the locations that they would like to focus on. Um, the more relevant we can make learning, the more likely our students are to be engaged. So the first prompt that you see here is, I always tell ChatGPT, please. I think that's great modeling for our learners too. So I've asked it to please provide an ethical dilemma scenario that focuses on sustainability sustainability and climate action. And I've said, consider context in Eastern Washington state. Please make links to the common core standards for fifth grade and also make links to the ISTE digital citizenship. Again, the full response is in that free guide, but within a matter of moments, it's given me a scenario, an ethical dilemma, those common core standards, and it has also helped me think about why the ISTE digital citizenship learning might factor in as well. So I would go through this with students and we would continue to tweak, maybe ask uh, ChatGPT to add in more details. Uh, again, the more specific, the better. Now. I wanted to demonstrate that, of course, ChatGPT can do this regardless of the curriculum model that you have, and of course, at different grade levels. I think it's also a great conversation to ask students, hey, do you think that ChatGPT has actually modeled something here that is at our grade level? or not. So here is a prompt again for looking at Beijing, the IB learner profile and the MYP. So just again to show you that you can decide on whatever context, um, but I really like exploring ethical dilemmas. I think they really do push us to listen to one another's perspectives, to question what assumptions, and also in conversation for us to identify well, what research do we need to do? Um, I think that generative AI tools like ChatGPT, ChatGPT are reminding us that conversation is one of our most powerful learning engagements to experience. Um, and so again, I would be looking at using this maybe to build a menu of different ethical dilemmas and then really build in that space for conversation, reflection, research, more conversation. So. I also wanted to show you that if you don't want to focus on necessarily a curriculum model, but you really just want to think about a concept um, or a term that you have been learning about, I've just asked ChatGPT for an ethical dilemma for an eighth grade class that's been learning about renewable energy. So you can go as specific or as broad as you would like. Now, for me, the power of a resource like ChatGPT is now I can also use it for some rough draft research and that term rough draft is really important here because as is being discussed all the time chat gpt is not always accurate right and we have to lean into our information literacy to really look for when is bias showing up or when is chat gpt just getting it wrong um the term hallucinations is being used that chat gpt does make up sources so it's great to model with students that we always have to double check and whenever we're doing research we want to be doing that double checking so i've asked chat gpt for that ethical dilemma to give me a list of five questions for students to discuss as they think about that dilemma and again as a class, I would say, let's look at these, discu these discussion questions. Which ones are useful? Which ones are not? Are they specific enough? Are they challenging enough? Do these questions actually help us unpack that ethical dilemma? What do we think? And I've also said, ChatGPT, can you give me a list of podcast episodes? 
that help us research these questions. So as a class, we would also go and see, well, do these episodes exist <laughs> or has ChatGPT made them up? Do they actually match with the questions of discussion or not? And uh, it's a great conversation in terms of does ChatGPT as a rough draft research assistant, does it help us or um, are we better at doing that research? I, again, I think that's just a great side conversation to be had. Now, I've said the word conversation a lot, and I think it's also great to look at how ChatGPT might give us some rough draft work for some fictionalized conversations that maybe we then dig into and we do the rest of the writing on. So an example of that here is me asking ChatGPT, write a debate dialogue where two students argue their stance on the dilemma. Now, if you are a teacher of rhetoric or of debate, you might also wanna prompt in and, and give it logical fallacies to try out in their debate dialogue. But I think what you'll find and what your students will find is the argument's not great. What you have instead is sort of a rough draft. And I could see this being a great activity where we go in and we refined, we refine this script, we make the arguments better, more sophisticated, more evidence-based. Another model of creative writing that I love dipping into is asking students, who are you following online? Who are some of your, uh, you know, sort of favorite folks in different apps on Instagram, on TikTok, on Twitter, perhaps, uh, who are speaking to issues like climate change, the climate crisis? What happens if we ask ChatGPT to provide a script for a social media influencer to read on Instagram in defense of clean energy again? Thinking of this as sort of a, a virtual assistant, we have this rough draft. And then I might ask students, we can tinker around with asking ChatGPT to rewrite in the voice of, in the style of. But for those of you who have been playing with this tool, you know that when you push ChatGPT, sometimes it will admit it doesn't really know the voice of that person. It's trying, but sometimes it's just pretending. So what might it mean to invite students to rewrite the script following mimicking the style of someone who they see in that space is very passionate about issues of sustainability. I also think it's interesting to look at ChatGPT as a tool to help us with creating some visual resources. So for those of you who maybe like comics, like graphic novels, what I can do is also ask ChatGPT to create the text for a five panel comic that explores this issue. Again, I'm being abstract. I can have my students go more specific. It gives me the text for five panels. So then maybe what's a great activity is in pairs, in small groups. I have students refine the text for the different panels and then create the visuals for each. Last thing that I wanna say, again, of course, a lot of excitement just wrapped up on March Madness. So those of you who are fans of that event and are missing it already, maybe this is another great opportunity. ChatGPT, create a March, mile, March Madness style matchup of 16 key terms that we would need to understand in order to learn more about this dilemma. So ChatGPT gives me the list, the sweet 16 key terms, if you will. It will also give me possible matchups. But again, remember what I said about the power of conversation? I could see us as a class, let's us decide which are the top seeded terms here, meaning which are the, the most important ones. Let's match them up. Maybe different groups vote on different brackets in deciding which of these key terms is more important to understand or is more critical to the ethical dilemma. So if you liked any of these ideas, you're interested in taking on any of those prompts, the collection is in our description box for this video. 
But again, perhaps it's students actually just working through and creating maybe different groups just keep refining that ethical dilemma. What are some core critical ethical dilemmas that can drive our learning, that tap into the research that we are already doing? I hope this is useful to you in celebrating and doing that very essential learning for Earth Day 2023. Thanks again, folks, for watching.